This episode is based on a true story. Some scenes have been dramatized. Always consult your doctor for medical advice. Here in the land of two seas, Bahrain, healthcare is one of the priorities in the kingdom. Health, as we all know, is important for human happiness and our well being. And at Health Hub, we answer your common questions and bring to you information about the advanced medical facilities in Bahrain. In today's episode, the eyes are the windows. No, two days ain't too much. What are the major causes of blindness in Bahrain? The eyes are the windows to the outside world. Taking care of them is essential to make sure they serve us well throughout our lives. I'm Dr. Khawla and in this episode, we will talk about the different conditions that may affect our eyes. Hello, Mr. Mirza, how are you? Oh, fine, fine. What is the problem? Problem on eyes, left eyes. Mm. Now two days, I am very, pain too much. Mm. I don't see you good. Okay. okay, can I see you? Yeah, I will okay. examine your eye. Okay. Please sit here. Here? Yes. Okay. I will just put one drop so I can check your eye pressure. Look up, please. Look up, 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 up. Look up. You can wipe your eyes. Now I will check your pressure. Look up. Close your eye. Close. Yes. Open now again. Excellent. Look straight. So, Mr. Mirza, uh, the pressure in the left eye is very high. It's around 56. The normal is up to 21. Yes. So, uh, I prefer to admit you to lower the intraocular pressure because uh, this pressure secondary to high blood sugar and diabetes. Two eyes or one? The right eye is okay. Right eye is around 20. Okay. Left eye is 56, the eye which you are complaining. So uh, we start by medical treatment, like okay. we will give you intravenous medications and we will put eye drops. If the pressure remains high, you might need surgery.
Dr. Khasun, how are you? Fine. Hello, Dr. Khawla. Thanks for having us today. Most welcome. So tell us, what are the common eye problems that we see here in Bahrain? I've been working in ophthalmology since 14 years. We see a lot of uh, conditions related to red eye, eye injuries, blurring of vision, and we have uh, cataract, a lot of cataract, glaucoma, uh, diabetic retinopathy. Speaking of glaucoma, Dr. Khatun, I heard we have a patient upstairs who has diabetes and also suffers from glaucoma. Can you tell us more about this patient? Yeah, this patient is known case of diabetes and his uh, sugar is uncontrolled and he has already diabetic retinopathy. In advanced cases of diabetic retinopathy, secondary glaucoma might develop. So this type of glaucoma is secondary, not a primary. Uh, why this will happen? Because with diabetic retinopathy, the angle of the eye might be closed by the new vessels formed as a result of ischemia and they will have high intraocular pressure, which happened in this patient. So if we think about the eye as a ball and the fluid inside it has a certain pressure, and then when certain changes happen because of diabetes, the pressure inside that ball goes up, right? And that might affect the vision? Yes, because this pressure will go back and will uh, make pressure on the optic nerve. Um, and, and so, you know, diabetes can cause glaucoma or high pressure. Yeah. Are there any conditions other than diabetes that might cause glaucoma? Glaucoma, it's a diverse group of diseases which will cause progressive optic neuropathy and gradual visual field loss. Most cases of glaucoma will associated with high intraocular pressure. So high pressure inside the eye. Ball. Yes, but not all glaucoma will be associated with high uh, pressure. Most of the cases will be associated with high intraocular pressure. The damage uh, from glaucoma is irreversible. Mm. That's why it's, it's something that has to be taken seriously. Yes, there are many important points we should consider in glaucoma. First, any damage from glaucoma is irreversible. Second thing, 50% 50 50 of cases of glaucoma are undiagnosed because they are asymptomatic until late of the disease. So what is your advice, Dr. Khatun, to prevent the damage from happening? Uh, to make a screening programs. This screening programs aim to detect and early treatment of glaucoma. Early treatment will prevent or delay any damage of the optic nerve so we can preserve the vision. So Dr. Khatun, back to our patient upstairs. Do you admit, do people with glaucoma always have to come and get admitted to the hospital? No, we admit only certain cases who presented with acute glaucoma. Uh, like in this patient, he has acute glaucoma secondary to diabetic retinopathy, which we call it a new vascular glaucoma. And not all cases also of neovascular glaucoma, we admit, but in a view of his good visual potential in this eye, and he has pain and blaring, I prefer to admit. So keep them under close observation. Yes. Very good. Pressure should come down by any mean, mm -hmm. so you can preserve his optic nerve, and his diabetic retinopathy can be treated also, which is the primary cause of his problem now. Very good. Thanks, Dr. Khatun. I'll come back and see you in a few days to check Welcome. on the progress of the Welcome, patient. Dr. Khatun. Nice Appreciate to meet it. you. Thanks a lot. Hello, Mr. Mirza. How are you? You are okay? How is the pain in the left eye? Still, Still there? Yeah. Let me check the pressure to see. So today your pressure is still high, it's around 47. Mm. 
so I advise you to go for surgery. We will put glaucoma drainage device in the left eye to lower your pressure because we cannot keep your eye with this high pressure for a long time, then it will cause optic nerve damage. So to preserve your vision and you will be able to go for retina treatment only after we lower the pressure. So my advice is to do the surgery. Did you know that according to the World Health Organization, there are about 2.2 billion people around the world who are currently suffering from either visual impairment or blindness? Of those, there's about 1 billion who have visual impairment that could have been prevented. Examples of those medical conditions include glaucoma, cataract, diabetic retinopathy, or refractive errors. So what about prevention then? How can we prevent eye disease or complications of eye disease? One of the important and basic steps is to adapt a healthy lifestyle, making sure that your blood sugar, blood pressure, and blood cholesterol levels are normal. Also, making sure you follow up regularly with your general practitioner or specifically an eye doctor if you have chronic medical conditions, particularly diabetes. Hello, Dr. Khatoun. Good hello, to see you again. Hello, Dr. Khawla. Yes, tell me. So, tell us what happened to our patient. So, after the three cycles of maximum anti-glaucoma, his pressure remains uh, high. Okay. So, I decided to take him for urgent surgery. We did it under local anesthesia. He was very cooperative. The operation went very well. We put glaucoma drainage implant in the left eye and post-operatively he's doing very well we will discharge him very good so so what do we expect from an eyesight point of view and eye pain are these symptoms all resolving or uh, his pain should be less after surgery and after the pressure comes down uh, his blurring of vision might improve also when we lower his pressure so his symptoms might get better hopefully very good. What is your advice uh, for him long term, you know, going out of surgery? Now, after surgery, usually we advise the patient to take rest at home at least for two to three weeks and to be compliant on his eye drops. He need to come for regular follow up in the eye clinic to check his eye pressure and we refer him back to retina specialist to complete his treatment of the retina. Very good. Do you expect the problem or do you see these types of problem coming back again? Uh, if, the, if the primary cause actually is not controlled, which was the originally diabetic retinopathy, his intraocular pressure might rise again, even after surgery. That's why the follow-up after surgery is very important as the surgery itself. And follow up, I guess, not just with the eye doctor, but with the diabetes doctor yes, as well. Yes, yes. Making sure sugar To control is all his systemic conditions. Perfect. Very good. Well, thank you, Dr. Khatun, for the update. Welcome, welcome. For two days, I think here my eyes, too much pain. These eyes. I go for Dr. Khatun. Check my eyes. Your pressure high, 
about 50, 55. You need uh, operation. I put for you valve. Now, alhamdulillah, everything is okay. I have special interest in early detection and management of glaucoma, mainly, as it is a very important cause of irreversible blindness worldwide. Actually, we are conducting now a study to see what are the major causes of blindness in Bahrain. Still, it is not finished, but what, what I noticed that the most common causes of irreversible blindness, it's glaucoma and diabetic retinopathy, which is worldwide also. And the most common causes of reversible cataract. Cataract is one of the commonest causes of reversible blindness that we see in the outpatient services of ophthalmology. It is not a disease per se, uh, it is basically a naturally occurring phenomenon with age. What uh, happens is basically that this is the eye and if we see this is the naturally occurring lens within the eye. With time, with aging, the proteins in this uh, lens they start denaturing and as a result of this what happens is it loses out on its transparency so how does the patient realize that he's got cataract um, very early stages of cataract the patient may not actually experience any symptoms except for a perceived requirement for increased light uh, it also depends on the type of cataract that the patient has. Uh, some people uh, find that their glass prescriptions are changing pretty frequently. Uh, some of them find that it is really difficult to see during the day. They find their vision is much better at night. Uh, some of the patients even find that vision at night is better. Uh, there, is a, there are forms of cataract wherein uh, if you have a lot of night driving, you might experience a lot of disturbance from oncoming traffic headlights. So uh, it, uh, some people feel uh, that they see uh, colored halos around light. Now this is particularly true for patients uh, who have uh, a lot of night driving and uh, it's pretty dark around and they have a point source of light. Uh, regarding cataract surgery, it is one of the most advanced and successful surgeries done in ophthalmic practice nowadays. The technology has improved to a great extent. Uh, it's just a matter of discussion uh, between the patient and the doctor uh, and trying to figure out what is the requirement of the patient. And uh, yes, uh, depending on the requirements of the patients, uh, it is a pretty safe surgery. It can be done. Technology is very good. Uh, and the success rates are very high. Every week at Health Hub, we bring you the latest and most relevant information to your health. I'm Dr. Khawla, and I'll see you next week. Stay safe.